Hey there, welcome aboard the next JS14 Yatra. I am thrilled to have you with us and I am eager to dive into some serious learning together. Now, let's get down to business and talk about what this course has in store for you. Brace yourself for a journey through the latest and the greatest tech stack out there next JS14. We are not stopping there though. With Postgres as our trusty database and Prisma as our ORM, we are setting the stage for some seriously efficient data handling. When it comes to styling, we are keeping it sleek and modern with Tailwind CSS. And to take our UI to next level, we will be tapping into Redix UI and some slick components from ShadCN. But wait, there's more. We are bringing TypeScript into the mix because, well, it's the industry standard for a reason. And for creating our very own component library, we are turning to none other than Storybook. Oh, did I mention we are targeting hands-on with unit test too? Yep, with Jest and React testing library in our toolkit, we are making sure our code is rock solid. And last but not the least, for seamless file uploads and hosting, we have got Vercel Blob and Vercel itself leading the way. And here's a cherry on the top. We are just getting started with the best part of this course. This isn't your run-of-the-mill next year's course. Oh no, we are taking up a notch by incorporating industry best practices and following standard operating procedures. Our SOP outlines a meticulous roadmap for success. Deep dive with low-level design to dissect the problem statement, create a robust API contract to ensure seamless communication between client and backend, implement coverage-driven development and set up CI/CD pipeline to rigorously assess the test coverage with every pull request, get hands-on with meaningful unit tests to ensure the reliability and resilience of your code. Develop your very own component library to streamline your development process. Shift the focus toward config-driven UI for greater flexibility and scalability. Embrace the mobile-first approach to ensure your application shine on every screen size. With these industry standard practices in place, you will be equipped to tackle real-world challenges head-on and emerge as a Fortuner in the world of next year's development. In the next year's Yatra, I am immersing you in an environment reminiscent of top tier tech giants. My goal extends beyond simply teaching next year's. It's about shaping you into a seasoned full stack professional developer. Let's talk about the prerequisites. You need to know the basics of JavaScript such as variables, operators, functions, arrays, maps, filters, async await, and dry catch. And also you need basics of React such as hooks, JSX, conditional rendering, and styling. No prior knowledge of Next.js is required. Moving forward, we will continue our learning journey by covering client versus server architecture, runtime versus build time, Rendering patterns, CSR, SSR, SSG, and ISR, routing, authentication, SEO, Redux, backend, API, server actions, React hook forms, Zord validations, light and dark theme. This course is structured into five modules with ongoing content updates even beyond completion of initial project. Module 1 Intro and Setup, Module 2 Diving into backend, module 3, diving into front end, module 4, and module 5. And there would be an extra section about uh, bonuses and extras. Now, let me show you what an amazing app you will build to learn Next.js. Alright, so in this particular course, we are going to make a Jira board clone. This is the landing page of our application. On the top is the nav bar, and over here, you can see the welcome message. The navbar contains our um, a company logo and we have a button to sign in and also a button to change the theme of the application. We have light, dark and system. So let's start by signing in into our application. So this is the model that is automatically going to sign us in using a Google sign in. 
and over here you can see we are logged in and this is our nice profile icon we have got the search bar we have got nice navigation menu items all of this is config driven and let's select our first board over here so you can see a skeleton loader and now we have all the list of uh, tickets under this particular board the best part is that we can move tickets across various columns so currently there are four columns representing the status of the tickets one is to do in progress in review and done and let us say we want to move this ticket from to do to in progress and maybe from in progress to in review or maybe from in review mark it as a done ticket so this is, this is how you can move this ticket across various uh, boards and this is a very nice functionality of drag and drop feature one thing to notice that whenever I am moving this ticket across any column the column automatically gets highlighted right and the items the ticket items also get shipped down creating a space for the ticket to fill in so this was the desktop version and this particular UI is mobile friendly as well so let's hit right and perform an inspect and you can see that the application turned into a nice mobile view on this you have all the navigation items that you were seeing on the top and this icon is a drawer okay though you can see that we have this nice drawer that is sliding from bottom listing all our boards so this is also a very nice addition into this project so this was the amazing feature of the Jira board. This project uh, which I am demonstrating right now is up to phase 3 of all module 3 you can see. Uh, in the module 4 and module 5 will be getting added uh, in this course as well. Would be around uh, this particular feature where you can create a ticket and you can also view the ticket whenever you click on any of the ticket item or present over here. So this is a to-do item from on me. Uh, I will update it as soon as it is done. And yeah, this is all we are going to make uh, in this particular course. But this is not limited to. What I mean by that is that uh, we are going to, you know, create more projects in this course. This is just one project that I had in my mind and I created it. But going forward, I add more projects, more items add more amazing stuff about next year so that we can explore each and every area given the this uh, atlassian product is very complex in itself but it again uh, you know does not does not cover each and every topic of next year that is why we need extra lectures or extra amount of content to cover entire next year's by 100 percent so you can see the power of Next.js that even complex tools like uh, Jira board by Atlassian are not able to consume 100% features of Next.js and we need additional uh, lectures and content to understand Next.js 100%. So amazing things are coming over here. So that was all I had in this project demonstration. Hi, I am Vedan, a software engineer with more than 3 years of experience and I have taught thousands on how to code and become a better software engineer.